Hi, I have been using my heart rate in quite a few videos now and I'm using it as I stream sometimes and I wanted to show you how I do it with my Samsung watch so you don't need to buy another heart sensor or anything like that you just need your Samsung watch let's get into it So here we have the GitHub uh, made by Luik2665 uh, which shows the exe file which you need to download. This is the thing that uh, makes your computer uh, be able to take up what your uh, watch is sending. So the heart rate in this instance on your watch, you need a program called Heart Rate to Web for Streamers, which is the OBS symbol with a heart on it. I'm going to link this in the description alongside with the GitHub. And this kind of looks like this. You can see right here, just without the heart, you can just add an image beneath it. I'm gonna show you how. So you just go download this file. I have it right here. Let's just start our watch app. It should look something like this. And then we start our Windows app and we need to plug in the code, the IP address, which you get when you start your exe program. This will not work if you use the wrong numbers. Now that we have started both the program on the PC and the app on the watch, we can see that our number is popping up in this window. So that, that means it's uh, getting refreshed. So the lowest number or the yeah, the number on the bottom is the one that's the newest. So how do we import this to OBS? Let me show you. We click the plus button, button here. This is Streamlabs OBS. OBS is more or less just the same. So we click text. And then we can write heart rate, for example. And here you have a couple of choices. We are interested in this read from file. As we saw, it just uses this file, heart rate sensor. You just maneuver to whatever folder you have this program set in. And we open this. And here we have our number, right? So my pulse is 85 now. And it is up here. 86, 87. I'm just gonna take away this here. So we have... And then I loaded this image. This is a GIF. So it moves like uh, it beats like a heart. And you can just lay this together. You can group them and then you just drag them both. So if you then want to change location, you can just do this. Right? So there you have it. That was how you make your heart rate visible while you play games or whatever you want. It's really fun to play a competitive and then uh, see your heart rate for your own sake and for the viewers. When this program is started, you have to end it. And how do you end it? You go to your apps, you find your 
recent apps. And when you click on recent, you get this up. And you just close the app or close all if you want, so it doesn't drain your battery. Because if it continues to run, your battery is going to drain very fast. And I'm uh, thinking that I will maybe do some scary games with it. Use it for those. That seems like fun. So please subscribe and leave a like if you liked it and it helped you. And yeah, it's a nice way to save some money using the Samsung watch. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.